it doesn't really matter what I'm doing, I want to win. We're kind of frenemies, we're friends, but kind of enemies in a way because we're both so competitive. She's my friend, but she's also my arch nemesis. Give me 30 minutes to warm up and that's all you gotta give me. Every competition is different workouts. The structure of the sport is what separates it. First time out of the country, and now I'm here in Sweden. The idea is that you're well-rounded. You're fit across all planes. I work out a total of about three to four hours a day. Okay. I always get it turned up. The sport is functional fitness. Every competition is a test of six events. The six events are endurance, strength, body weight, skill, mixed, and power. You can't be really good at one thing. You kind of have to be decent across the board in order to do well. You can't really afford to have a bad showing. As it goes down, they get less and less points, and the person with the most points at the end of the weekend uh, is the winner. Like, you can't go from first to, to worst and still expect to, to place well. We're here for the IF3 World Championships in Sweden. It's where our national federations get to send their top athletes to compete for three days of competition in the individual men's, individual women's, and then the team division. People ask me about, like, why do I support this and why am I trying to help get in the Olympics? You have to have some structure from the local level all the way up to Olympic level. And the goal of the IF3 is to bring governance to the sport of functional fitness. I always thought the sport had so much potential to be an Olympic sport and really be a legitimately recognized sport. It's an honor to represent your country and win a world championship title for your country.